Hello, my name's Kitten and I teach beginners how to knit so that you can master your craft easily and efficiently without any jargon and any unnecessary complications. If you've come to me through my email list, this is your first pattern to make this cute little teddy. If you found me organically through YouTube, then if you sign up for my email list, and there'll be links later on, you can join my virtual knitting circle. And when you sign up for the email, you get your free teddy pattern. And then every month you will get a video and a pattern popping into your email box. We'll also talk you through various techniques and we will hold your hand while you learn to knit. So, this little chap is so perfect for starting you off. It's plain, simple knitting. So let's have a look, shall we? Down a little alley in the heart of Kendall Town is a tiny independent yard shop. Welcome to the wonderful world of the kitten and the goat. So we're starting with the teddy pattern. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to work with the two strands of double knitting together to get the chunky weight and six millimeter needles. I've done loads of double knitting ones of these and I just fancy seeing how much bigger the chunky weight is going to turn out. So all this is exactly the same when you work it with one strand of double knitting on four millimeter needles or a strand of super chunky on nine millimeter needles. So let's cast on for his little legs. When you start your teddy pattern, you're going to be working the two little legs. That's fairly straightforward. Now, the next thing is that you're going to have to join them together. It's a little bit of an unusual technique, but it's very, very simple. What you do is simply plain knitting stitch for your garter. Do you need a slip in, round, slip off, point in, around. I find it helpful to keep my finger on that back of that stitch there so that it doesn't move. One leg second leg. Now be careful because you've got a tail here. You want to hang on to that and not lose it. But you just keep going. Keep this really tight as you change into the next leg because it's going to move. It just will because it's, it's a seam you've joined together. It's just what it does. Knit to the end of the row. There you are. You have joined your two legs together. This bit is going to need to be sewn in securely and then just carry on working for the body. The next little trick we're going to do is create the arms. Very simple. What we're going to do is cast on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Right, you've cast on eight at the front of the row. Then you knit right the way back along to the end of there. And when you turn round, you cast on eight this side and knit back. It won't show that one is a little bit thicker than the other when you've knitted for his arms. But we're going to put his arms on 
next. Okay, oh, we've worked Teddy's little arms. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing in reverse because we need to cast off for his arms to get his head. So we are going to cast off eight at the beginning of that row. One, lift it clean over. Two, just on a knit stitch. Three, four, five. See his little arm coming. Six, seven. Eight. And when you're casting off part of a row like that, you cast off the number it says. So it said to cast off eight, so you cast off eight loops. The first one that you put over counts. Then we're going to knit to the other end of the row. And then when we turn round, we're going to cast off eight to make the other arm and then we've got a straight piece in the middle to work up for his little head. So we'll do that next. Now we've done the shaping for what's going to be his head and we're up to where the top of his head is. So what we're going to do is keep going and work this in reverse. So we're going to work his head Cast on for the arms, work the arms, cast off for the leg, for the body, work down the body. We're going to work on the first few stitches for one leg, cast off and finish. And then we're going to come back and work on the other half of the stitches for the other leg. So what I'm going to do is go and do that and then we will come back and I'll show you how we're going to sew him in half and put the shaping in. Right, this weird and wonderful shape is our teddy bear. There you go, that might look a little bit more teddy-ish. Why have we done it in one piece? Well, because it gives a nicer line across the head. You could cast off and then do exactly the same again, but doing it this way, it gives the ears better shape. It gives a much softer look to the head. So we're going to sew him together. Now, personally, and you're going to have to experiment with stuff because sewing up is the worst job in knitting, everybody puts it off, we don't like doing it. And you're going to have to find your own way of what you like doing. We're going to start at an ear. Now, I don't like to tie a knot in my thread. I like to leave a long tail. And I like to put a locking stitch. Just a couple of little turns like that. Now that's that's secure and giving that a real old tug without putting a nasty knot in it. Tuck your tail in. So we're going to it's called mattress stitch. I like to think of it more like lacing like a corset. You pick a little bit up from that side Keep your finger there underneath so that it sits flat. Pick a little bit up from that side. Yes, you can go to the performance of matching lines and rows, but come on, love, it's a teddy bear. We're learning. We're practicing. We can be perfect later. Little bit from each side. Catch it together, 
just tiny little bits and that makes a flat seam you don't get any of the nasty big lumps you that you do if you put right sides together and over stitch it all the way along you get a nice neat I get it. There you are. That's going to be his ear. But you see, it's flat. It's flat on the inside. There's no bumps. I won't bore you with the details, but we're going to to sew this down here, around his arm, right down here, round the leg, down this side of the leg, cross his other foot, up to about there. Stop there. Finish off, securely finish it, because what we do is we start again at the top here, the same way that we did here. We come down to here, we stitch across from there to there, and then there to there for his ears. You'll find the instructions on the pattern. Then we stuff his head. We put some running stitches all the way round his head to get some shaping. We stuff that arm and that leg. And then we stuff his body. We carry on joining around here and we stuff as we go. It makes it much easier to reach all the corners. You can stuff all the way round and leave a gap to put the stuffing in. It makes it much harder. If you do one side to there, that's all done. Come down to here, shape his head, put the filling in as you go and then come round, make sure he's filled make sure he's filled, put it in and then close it up. You will find it a lot easier. So I'll show you Teddy when I finished. Here we are. Here's our little Teddy. There's his face. Put a ribbon round his neck. Remember to sew the ears before you stuff them so that you can shape it and gather the neck after you've shaped after you've stuffed the head so he gets a smaller little neck just for comparison this is in double knitting on four millimeter needles and this is the one the chunky weight so if you did a super chunky i would say it would be you know half as big again so it would be a sizable bear he took almost a whole, a half a ball of um, yarn, so that would be about 50 grams. And I think he takes about 20 grams, something like that. And obviously, of course, the, the, the bigger bear needs more stuffing. So if this little taster whetted your appetite, pop along to my website, sign up for your email. You'll get the teddy bear pattern and you'll get a free pattern every month after that. So we'll see you soon. Bye.